Okay, everybody, I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. Um, for those who wanted to see the demonstration and uh, I guess kind of get an assessment of how the box works um, and how it differ differs actually from um, the Amazon Fire Sticks, this is much better. Uh, first of all, it's quad band as opposed to dual, which is the Fire Stick is dual. This is quad, so it runs faster and it also comes with more options. With the Fire Stick, Pretty much all you can do is set it up to watch Cody, use Cody or whatever, and Netflix, possibly Pandora a little bit. But with this, um, you also have, I can show you right here, you have a web browser on it. So you can use it like an actual laptop. You can go on Google or any platform and, and just type in whatever you want to search you know like if, if you were just shopping or looking for a website or anything you just use it like an actual your phone or your actual laptop so um, even if I was to just do like Facebook you're gonna use it like an actual browser which it is um, I go back out to the home screen um, I have my all my accounts set up on here so I can go right here to my Gmail and I can check emails I just recently moved so I still get a lot of stuff from Zillow and Trulia I have my style seat stuff set up on my barber so all my appointments and stuff like that but that's my that's my email um, got the browser you also have YouTube you can just click on use it like I said just like an actual and any Android device you can use it like um, a phone or a laptop this is my setup to my actual YouTube account here I can show you right here on my Facebook this is my actual Facebook page so I can use it just like if I'm on my phone on my laptop which you can't do you can't do none of these things with the Android Fire, I mean the uh, Amazon Fire Stick, so that's my Cinco de Mayo post. A couple little recent posts on my page. Go back out. You can set this up with your Google Play Store. So you go on here and just like any other Android device, you can download games, apps for your kids. You, you can go play stuff on here. You can download apps to actually clean this out. I have a couple of memory cleaners on here. So when I'm watching movies, doing all this stuff, and my, I don't want my box to get bogged down with a lot of information and stuff. So I can just download a memory um, cleaner, clean it out right from here. Like I said, games, any app that you have on your phone, you can download on this device. You can go through the Google store. I have my Netflix set up on here. I don't know if you have a Netflix account or not, but you can actually set up your real Netflix account and use it on here. Um, also in Cody, when you go through Cody, you can watch anything that's on Netflix, so you don't necessarily have to go out and get a Netflix account just so you can put it on here and use it on here. I just happen to have an actual Netflix account so I can watch all my Netflix stuff, real Netflix stuff on here. Also we have right here, all of those people who are wondering about live TV and um, local TV and even like um, we're in the playoffs for the NBA right now. A lot of the shows, I mean a lot of the games are coming on regular TV. So this app right here is called Mobdro. This is for live TV, uh, worldwide live TV actually. So click on this. It has it broken down into sections as far as like you can if you want to watch sports you can go to sports channels movies or whatever this and that but I'll just go to actual all the channels listings right here and um, here's ABC right here so I watched the game last night on this app commercials everything shows up it's not like a lot of the um, the other apps or a lot of the stuff that runs through Cody this this app right here is actually better than going through Cody to watch live TV because it works like actual live TV when you're switching channels and stuff like that so that's ABC I click back out of it and I can go down here's HDTV 
see how it just automatically plays and streams. Uh, I keep catching commercials. I want to actually let it play through so you can actually see that it is the actual channel and it's not, you know, just some bad links or whatever. See? Fixer Upper is on. This is actual HGTV. It's clear. A lot of the channels come in HD. You never really know which one's coming in HD or not. I'm not going to sit here and say all the channels are HD and they're going to be clear or whatever this and that because, I mean, it is a free device. It is free TV, so not going to say that but that's HD you got history channel Bravo sci-fi it's, it's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of channels on here not just these are just like I said um, a lot of the ones they list at the top are American TV A&E right here see how click quickly it plays as soon as you click on it or what I think it's criminal minds or something that's on but the further you go down USA TBS you'll start finding channels I don't know, some of you might want to watch TV from overseas or whatever, this and that. This is Australian television. They look like uh, Ink Masters or something that's on over there. So you have, you got BBC One, so you got UK TV. Like I said, if I keep going down, you'll, you'll see just channels from all over the world. So this is uh, Mob Joe. And also, I put two of them on here. I, I use Mobjo and UK TV now because sometimes they go down. So when you have both of them, you can switch back and forth between the two. And um, this works the exact same way. And if you can see on the video where it has the little green boxes above each channel, it says UK uh, ES for Spanish. So you'll know once you click on that. See, you have A&E right here. But it's actually, it says ES, which means it's in Spanish. So if I click on this, it's going to be A&E. But it's going to be in Spanish. As you can see. And this one has ads. See how the ads pops up? So once the ad pops up, you just push the back arrow. And it'll take you out of the ads. Like I said, it is free TV. So a lot of people, I guess, use this device to advertise and stuff like that so this is a and e i'll turn the volume up for you yeah yeah it's in spanish Listo? Listo. Vale, vamos allá. Con buenas vibraciones, buenas vibraciones. this literally channels everywhere this is a uk channel It's just channels on top of channels over here. So those are the two that I use. Like I said, you got channels from France, UK, Pakistan. So all of the people who might be worrying about uh, watching TV overseas. This Box Nation right here, like, I don't know, um, people that might be interested in pay-per-view fights and stuff like that. I don't know much how much the fight was last night, but... Every major fight shows on this this channel right here, Box Nation. So last night you could have watched the Canelo fight on this actual uh, channel right here. So you don't have to worry about pay per view and all of that. Uh, like I said, I can just go down and it's endless, endless, endless channels just on these two apps right here. So for the live TV viewers or people who are worrying about live TV, that's it right there. These these two apps right here. Mob Joe and UK TV now. You can watch any channel anywhere in the world. Uh, for all the people worrying about movies and stuff like that, for the, the Amazon Fire Stick, most people use it for movies and use it for Cody. The reason why I sell boxes now instead of the Amazon Fire Stick is because of everything else that you can get on top of Cody. So we're going to Cody. For the people who aren't familiar with Cody, Cody allows you to watch um movies movies that are in theaters movies that are on dvd movies from years ago it's just a great platform for movies i don't like the live tv that comes on cody because it's kind of choppy it doesn't work well all the time a lot of the links are down a lot of the time so i just like the two apps that i just showed you for live tv now for tv shows however like um uh, things that might be on uh, HBO, a lot of the um, premiere movie channels, or regular, just regular TV. Let's say it's not on a live 
feed or whatever, but you missed your last episode, I like to use Cody for that. So I'll go into, and Exodus is the, uh, the program that I, I prefer over other programs just because I don't know, it's just one I'm more familiar with. I use all the time. It's usually a pretty good, um, links and everything. And as soon as you click on it, as you can see, you'll, it'll break down into different, uh, categories. So you can, you can search by the genre. You can search by the network that it comes on. Let's say you want to watch something that comes on uh, ABC. That's where you um, uh, know your your channel, uh, your program comes on. So, um, and I haven't had it on for a minute, so that's why it's loading up all of this stuff also. But A um, uh, and E. Let's say whatever you want to watch comes on A and E, or you want to see what program is on A and E. So you can just click on A and E. And it's loading, a lot of this stuff is loading, so you have to bear with me for a minute. It's not normally like this, I just did this. So, these are all the, the, the TV shows that come on A&E. Night Watch, uh, Godfather of Pittsburgh. Uh, I guess I don't watch a lot of a and &E. I don't recognize a lot of these shows. Wahlburgers, uh, Seekers and Wives, Storage Wars. All of these shows that come on A&E. So let's just, uh, let's say you wanted to watch Wahlburgers. It'll break it down. I don't know how many seasons it's been on. But um, it'll break it down into seasons and episodes. And you can watch that particular episode, that particular season. Okay. It's been on seven seasons. So you can click on a season, watch a particular episode that you might want to watch. So it's, it's, it's great, uh, Exodus is great for watching TV shows from any channel, anywhere. And let's say it's because what I have noticed also is not every single TV show that comes on that channel is listed. I guess, you know, that would take up a lot of information. You can also go into the search and search for a particular, uh, TV show that you know comes on that channel. Or even if you don't, okay, we can go back out. Even if you don't know what um channel it comes on you can go into the search and just type in the name of that particular um show and it'll, it'll find it it'll pick it up or whatever sorry about that guys my uh battery was going dead in my camera i had to recharge it real quick but um like i said for the tv shows uh um i like to use exodus it's just my favorite um Kind of like most user friendly and I'm just accustomed to it now. Um, you have several different ways of searching for your TV shows. You can choose the genre if you're looking for a comedy, horror, or whatever it is. You can go by the uh, network that you know that it comes on. Um, you can go by the most popular. Like, you know, if you're looking for a new show to watch and you wonder what everybody else is watching or what's proclaimed to be good or anything like that, you can go that way. Highly rated, most voted. Uh, or, you know, something that's airing today or new TV shows, uh, new episodes, uh, just different ways to search. Also, you can just type in the name of, uh, if you don't see it on any list, you can just type in the name of the TV show that you want to watch. Or um, you can use the people search and just type in the name of someone that you know uh, is starring in that TV show. You might not necessarily know the name of the TV show, but um, a lot of times... People are just searching for new shows to watch or, you know, what's being talked about. So you can go to most popular or um, people watching. Those two particular um, categories will give you um, pretty much the top shows that are out right now. Um, and as it's loading up, you can see um, 13 Reasons Why is a, a show that a lot of people are talking about now. And um, since it's first season, it's, it's a Netflix show. So like I said, you don't have to have a Netflix account to actually watch Netflix shows. You can just go right here to Exodus or one of the other apps that shows TV shows and um, it will pull it up. And as you see how quickly it's loading, that's going to depend on your, your Wi-Fi settings and everything. The other thing that this has over the Amazon Fire Stick is you can actually hook this up through Wi-Fi. Or I'll show you a little later on. I actually have mine hooked up through my Ethernet cord running straight from my modem. So um, it shows clearer and it pretty much plays a little bit faster. It's not a huge difference, 
but if you're in certain parts of your house that might be away from your router or your Wi-Fi or, or whatever, if you have a TV like mine, it's hooked uh, right close to my modem, you can run an um, a Ethernet cord. So that's another option that's actually better than the Amazon Fire Stick. Like I said, it's a Netflix show, so you see how it comes up. Um, with this also, um, you can fast forward. So you can jump to a certain part in the show. Starts playing. Also like the on-demand feature um, that comes with Comcast or whatever cable company. You, if you back out of this, as you can see how I'm backing out of this, the show or movie that you're watching continues to play in the background. Also, if you leave, let's say you have to run out, go to the grocery store or whatever, this and that. You can either pause or stop the movie. If you stop the movie or TV show and come back, it has an option where you, when you click on that episode or that movie, it will actually resume play from the point that you stopped at. So that's another feature that's pretty good on here. Um, it is an option that um, I, when I program the boxes, I turn it on so it plays like that. But you can also turn it off depending on your preference. So, um, like I said, the show is still playing. You can still scroll and go out and search other things if you want to go to a movie now. Until you choose that other option, it will work the same way. So, I'm in the movie section now. And I like to go by year because a lot of times I'm going to want to watch the most recent things because I watch a lot of movies. So, um... I'm pretty much trying to, I'm already caught up, so I'm usually trying to watch the newest stuff that's out. Now, with the movie section, it's going to, uh, it's no guarantee on the quality of the movie. Of course, a lot of these movies, as you can see, are still in the movie theater. So, Fast and Furious and Guardians of the Galaxy, I know for sure the last time I checked, the copies were still kind of like the bootleg camcorder copy. But movies such as Get Out, uh, Logan... Um, even Kong, which is a great movie, these movies have uh, DVD quality um, versions out. So, like, if I click on Get Out right here, and um, it'll come up. See how quickly it's loading? So, a lot of people talk about, you know, the fire stick or whatever, this and that. They don't like the way it loads or whatever. This, this actually loads pretty quick. And like I say, I'm on Ethernet, so um, mine might run a little quicker than the other people. But um, I don't know I didn't, why I said no stream because it is a um, Strat Logan. I know there are copies out there. I just recently watched it not too long ago. So I'm not sure why I did that on the, the Get Out movie. I'm going to try Logan to see what it says. But there is a, there is a copy of Get Out. I'll, I'll go back and try that again. Okay, this is Logan, the latest X-Men movie. As you see, it's, it's a real good copy. I'll fast forward a little bit so you don't have to go through all of that. Just to show you how this works and how it plays. So I just went from watching a TV show to actually watching a movie, which is Logan. And depending on the quality, got some buffer. That's probably because I fast forward as well. And I was just watching the movie. So, and actually, th there's a better, this is a, a pretty decent copy of Logan, but there's actually a better copy of Logan out there. I have my settings set down. Also, you can use it all the way up to 4K, depending on your TV or speed of your internet. Um, usually, um, when the, you look at the list of movies and the links for the movies, usually the best quality starts at the top. So they'll have, if it's available in 4K, They'll have 4K, then you'll go to 1080 or um, 720, then high, you know, high def or whatever. So whatever it is, let me check. That. It's probably because of my settings why the Get Out wouldn't play because I have it set to a certain quality that I wanted to play. So if I go back in and change my settings, you'll see actually um, uh, settings for, uh, or streams for uh, Get Out. It's just because of the way I have it set up right now that's probably why it's not coming up but i just recently watched uh, like a dvd quality version of get out it's a good movie also if you haven't watched it yet you might want to watch it um real good copies um kong this is another another great movie um they did a real good job with the um the storyline and the visuals and this so and it is a um 
it's a very good quality um, copy of Kong out also as you can see it's an advanced copy it does have a lot of the advanced copies have um, either Asian or Russian or different um, subtitles on it because a lot of times they come from overseas and it's an advanced copy of it I'll fast forward a little bit right here um, so you can kind of see the quality of the movie and once again these are these are actually movies that are in the theater now like haven't been out haven't been released or anything so you can see um, real good movie I suggest this alright let's go back out and of course once a movie has been out a while like I said we're, we're in 2017 these are these are movies that just recently came out so if we go to 2016 pretty much every movie that's been in 2016 is already out on DVD or you know demand or whatever this and that so every copy that's on this uh, calendar for 20 is gonna be great quality you know you got Rogue One, Split, like these are all movies that you can just watch you know and I'll go out also uh, let me do this you can also go by it has a, a a kid section so all of you got kids out there which I have twin daughters and we're always watching kid movies and stuff like that so I go to this section and just you know they'll go through any type of cartoon or whatever movie that they want to watch or TV shows that they want to watch you got an urban section it's kind of like uh, <laughs> they show a lot of the the hip-hop movies uh, black sportation movies and just di different it's just a, a, a different section that they put on here and each build will be different so you can kind of customize your own or whatever but that's 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 pretty much how the um, the Cody aspect of it works as far as the TV shows and movies now you also have like I said uh, um, live TV which I don't use I don't ever use a live TV on Cody and you also have the sport uh, pay-per-view which kind of works like, almost like the live TV which is another thing that I don't use because I use the mob dro and the um, UK TV now that I showed you earlier but also another feature on here is um, music so a lot of times uh, I don't know if a lot of you grew up like me with mothers who you know Saturday Sunday mornings or actually Saturday mornings you know play music and once you heard that music you know you had to get up and start cleaning up or whatever well I still do that now so if it's uh, <laughs> Saturday or Sunday or sometime when I get a chance to clean up the house I'll just go here and, and put some music on or whatever and you can search different ways or whatever and um, stream your music or whatever and have it playing they also have it where you can play like you right here you have the mp3 streams that actually plays just the music and then you have vivo will actually play music channels where you can watch the video as well as the uh as the um, um music uh you have radio shows that you can just tune in like if you want to watch a radio or listen to a radio station in new york or wherever it is you can look it up and play it um actually have uh, concerts, live concerts that have been taped and, and videoed or whatever that you can watch and, and of course music videos so there are a lot of options with the um, the Cody it's just that I love the boxes better because you can run Cody and you have all the different apps that you can you know like the, the live TV, your Facebook, your, your, your even your Netflix or whatever this and that that you can run also outside of Cody which the fire stick you can't do that on also I'm about to show you this with the um, with the Android box Sorry about that. I wasn't able to show you because of the way my camera was set up. But um, if you could, another uh, advantage to having the fire, I mean, the uh, Android box over the Fire Stick is, like I said, the Ethernet. You have the Ethernet setting, but it also comes with USB ports. So I have my um, my USB jump drive plugged in right here, where you can actually play movies from here. If you might have it downloaded, even if you have a um, say like an external hard drive as far as like a terabyte worth of movies or whatever pictures I can I, I put my USB in here and show pictures to my daughters or whatever that we 
taken throughout the day or something like that. And it has, this one has two USB um, ports, but they have some that you can get up to like three USB ports. So that's another option as far as like even downloading apps or, or um, different things that you want to put on this box or whatever. So like I said, this is way better than a Fire Stick. It just gives you more options and it runs better because it's a uh, quad pan. So anybody interested, just hit me up and uh, I'll be able to come out and set it up for you and actually run through some other things that you want to see or um, ask any, uh, answer any questions that you might have. Thank you.